What's up, gamers, and welcome to a brand new battle simulator game called Warbox Sandbox. I had this game recommended to me on Steam, uh, and as it so happens, so did Scott, and he released a video of it earlier. If you want to see more content of this, check out Plastic Scott's channel. Uh, he did a couple of videos covering this already, uh, but what we're going to be doing today is just checking it out and seeing what it's all about. So, uh, we have a bunch of U.S. military units over here, and then a bunch of insurgent units over here, and we're going to see, uh, what, what ends up happening in this, uh, little tiny, uh, battle simulator sandbox battle that we've got going on here. Right off the bat, we've got the U.S. going in with M16s against the insurgents. Some of the insurgents just have knives, so they're going for the full send, the full charge against these U.S. troopers right here, and it seems like most of them are dying before they're even able to make it to them. But the back lines of the insurgents do have pistols as well as some MGs and AKs, so they do have something that can go up against the U.S. military here. Um, it does look like a couple of U.S. military boys are going down, but for the most part, the U.S. military is definitely outpacing the insurgents currently. Let's go into full speed mode here and check it out. This game is definitely still a little bit clunky, uh, but it's probably a small dev team, and uh, I believe they're still working on it and adding patches every day. Uh, so, you know, we of course are going to give them, uh, you know, a little bit of leeway here because this is a, uh, you know, initial release of the game, uh, and it's so far looking really, really cool. That was pretty sick. We're gonna do some more battles in this video. In, a, in this game, it's gonna be really fun. So if you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below uh, what else you wanna see from this game. All right, and then partners. Now we've got ourselves the Wild Wild West with a bunch of banditos versus the law that's come to town. A bunch of sheriffs have arrived at this small town as backup to take out these banditos who have taken over the town. Let's see what happens, baby. Spectate mode. And there we go. They are getting into the action here. A lot of fire going out. The uh, sheriffs have themselves a number of revolvers to themselves. Double action revolvers, which is pretty cool. Uh, this kind of warfare seems to last a lot longer in this game, uh, considering the fact that, well, slower bullets and... <laughs> firing mechanisms and things like that, unlike the M16s and stuff like that in the other one we did. Uh, so it seems like, uh, you know, you can get a little bit more uh, action out of this over a longer period of time, but it seems as though the Benditos ended up going down pretty quickly there. Not too bad. All right, we've done two rather small battles. Let's go ahead and try and do a massive battle here. All right, gamers, this time around, we find ourselves on the battlefields of World War I with the German infantry here going up against the British infantry. Uh, they are spawned in a lot, a lot farther back from each other this time around, which should hopefully give us a bit of a longer battle here. And there is a lot more soldiers. The British have the Webley revolvers, the Lee Enfields, as well as some Fistikuff units. And the Germans have the Lugers, the, uh, I think they're Givers, maybe they're Car 98 ks I can't remember. And also Fistikuff units. Let's go ahead and spectate this battle and see what ends up going down. So, we've got a little bit of a no man's land battle. Well, this isn't really no man's land. This is a battle for, it looks like the British trenches are being overrun right now. So the, the Germans have already done their no man's land charge and now they are coming through to attack the actual trench itself and trying to overrun it. Uh, we've got a number of British soldiers going down early on here, but more are coming out to play here against the Germans and getting some decent shots in. It's actually getting real close up. Look at this, holy cow. Ooh, shot right in the chest there. That soldier ends up going down and the Germans proceed forward. We've got more soldiers for the Brits in the trenches themselves here. Actually, quite a number of them in the trenches, and they're just firing up and over at a lot of these German soldiers. Uh, more Germans in the trenches here, though, and we're gonna have a little bit of a greeting between the Axis and the Allies here. Oh my goodness. Yep, the Germans are just plugging their way through here, but they end up getting shot down by those British soldiers right there. Uh, but more Germans do appear to be on the other side. Uh, meanwhile, 
most of the British seem to be in the trench coming on out. So hopefully as they come out here, the Germans manage to absolutely pin them down and take out a whole lot of them uh, as they come on out. Let's see if that ends up happening. Uh, and it does. It seems like the British sort of getting caught by surprise by all of those Germans on the outside. But more British continue to come. That initial cover of the trenches themselves seems to be helping. And then we've also got some British coming out of nowhere over here. Where on earth did you guys come from? Very confused about these fellers over this way, but hey, they're coming on out here as well and managing to take some pot shots at some of these German soldiers. Way to go, British lads. Come on. Come on now. Take them down. Oh, they're all dead right there. Oh, but we have even more action over this way. A couple more troopers with Webley revolvers taking on some of these German men here uh, and managing to get some shots off. Oh, we've also got a soldier way out in the distance over here who's taken on uh some more german firepower this way as well oh who's gonna win oh the german ends up winning rip rip potato chip to my british friend right there but that seems to do it oh no oh we got a couple more look at this we got a little little british gentleman here oh he's going in <coughs> excuse me sorry i still do have covid so uh my voice is a little weak right now oh those guys all end up going down. Oh, we got more here. Holy cow. By the way, I have no idea what this button does. Does that just disable them shooting? Oh yeah, it does. Wow, that's weird. Okay, interesting button to have. I'm not sure why that exists, but neat. But I think that's it. I think the Germans won that rush. Not bad, not bad. All right, guys, why don't we do one more large scale battle for this video? Alrighty then, boys, for this last battle here, we have the U.S. invading this random city here, and a bunch of insurgents uh, from the city are denouncing this U.S. invasion, and they have gathered in the streets here to fight them off. So, the insurgents hold th three blocks here, these three, uh, and the U.S. only holds one block here because the first battle we did, it seems like the insurgents were much less powerful than the U.S., so I wanted that to be sort of reflected in this video uh, by giving the insurgents more manpower than the US soldiers. So let's go ahead and press play here and see what goes down. So battle opens up with the US absolutely obliterating these insurgents over this way. Uh, looks like one US soldier has fallen. That is not a great deal. Yeah, US definitely seems to be a lot stronger here uh, than the insurgents are by a long shot. More US soldiers pushing out into the streets here. Oh, we actually had a little sword action right there from the insurgents. That was pretty impressive. One US officer going deep, but he ends up getting downed right there. Insurgents going for the heavy push right now against the US soldiers defending this street. Uh, and it seems to be actually working out okay for the US. They're mowing down insurgents. Meanwhile, the insurgents are struggling to get American kills here. We do have dismemberment on, on this game, which is kind of crazy. So heads are literally rolling throughout the streets right now. All right, let's try and take in who's left. I think that's an insurgent right there. So I think the US position sort of starts back here. This is where they sort of remain. There's also one, that's that's an insurgent, I think. I don't know how he got up there. That's kind of crazy. Can they climb the buildings? That would actually be really cool. Maybe they can, I have no idea, but that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, there's still a good number of US soldiers back here managing to push forward. They have an array of guns right now, mainly uh, M16A4s it looks like, and some pistols. Uh, and the insurgents are trying to push in pretty deep. Uh, this insurgent woman here getting deep in there with an AK-47, but gets mowed down before she can do all that much against the US Army here defending. Let's go into full speed now as the final insurgents uh, begin their rush of the US forces here. US forces uh, doing a pretty good job of defending, but there are just a lot of insurgents out here. Oh, guy goes for the stab, misses. Over here, we've still got some more US soldiers managing to defend. US soldiers definitely staggered a little bit more back here, but definitely still in this fight. Uh, and then there's like one more guy way over there um, that the insurgents are gonna go after. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like the U.S. did end up losing this battle. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, last couple of insurgents going after this last trooper. Let's see if he can do it. Uh, he gets a kill. Ah, uh, he dies. Sad. Okay, but that's not all. There is a cool feature in this where you can actually... 
play in the battle itself. So we spawn in here as a random US soldier, and it looks like we spawn in with a pistol, which is kind of bad luck. Uh, but it is kind of cool that they included a uh, actual playable feature in this game, and it's not that it's just a battle simulator, it also turns into a uh, third person, you know, sort of battle simulator slash shooter game, I suppose you could call it. Uh, it's kind of cool, nice little added feature. I definitely uh, prefer the battle simulator actual you know, part of the part of the battle. I think it's more fun to sort of watch the units uh, fight it out. Um, but it is kind of cool to get involved in the battle yourself here every once in a while uh, and start fighting a little bit too. It's pretty cool, uh, and you can take part in the action. And it looks like actually, with my help, the U.S. is kind of dominating the insurgents here. Uh, it's no big surprise, as you know, I am the tactics man himself. They don't call me Daily Tactics for no reason, bubs. No, they call me Daily Tactics because I got the tactics, baby! And I'm gonna help these boys out! Gonna help this US Army out, baby! Uh-oh, uh-oh, I went too deep. I went too deep. I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh, yeah, I ended up going down right there. <laughs> but that was pretty fun. As you can see, there's a lot you could do in this game, uh, which is pretty cool. And I'm pretty excited to see where it goes from here. Uh, I think there's a lot of possibility, and I definitely want to uh, do some more of this game if you guys would be interesting and seeing some more of this game as well. Either way, guys, that is going to be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit the like button if you did enjoy, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below what you'd like to see in this game. Either way, I will see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.